Hey, it's Metal Matthew coming at you with another video. And in this video, I'm going to give a video response to some of the questions that I've been asked lately about my modified Quanba Q4 RAF stick. And uh, for some reason, the the most questions and statements I've been getting have been dealing with the paper. Uh, about details on the paper. I didn't think that was a, a big issue, but apparently it is. Um, to that, well, I have to say, um, the paper that I use for it is uh, regular paper. I, I don't really know exactly what else to say. It's it's not no more than this, which is uh, the, what, 22, 24 pound paper, probably like 90, 92 brightness. I don't know exactly what the detail was. Um, when I went to, when I finished all my artwork, I uh, put it on a thumb drive and I took it to the Staples and I told them to print it up. I didn't tell them to print up anything extra, anything like photo paper or anything semi-gloss or anything like that. I just gave it to them. They printed it up. Um, like I said, I didn't ask for anything. And, um, so it's regular paper. I don't really know what else to say. Um... I also did not get it laminated or lemon labeled and the reason behind that is when you get it it's going to be behind a plexiglass piece like this uh, this is actually what came with it and uh, so I figured I didn't need to laminate it or have photo paper since it's going to be under this anyway the uh, thing you have to watch out for is the size the, the plexiglass itself measures uh, 14 and an eighth inch uh, wide and 6 and 7 inches, 8 inches high. So anything where the image will fit on that piece of paper should work fine. Um, so that's definitely the uh, restrictions I, would, I think you would have. Um, let's see what else. Um, and also I would, you know, Avoid using bubble jet pick, uh, a printer uh, for the fact that you're probably going to use a lot of ink. Um, and they use laser um, printers there, so it came out nice and uh, the way I wanted it to. Um, so that's that's what I was getting most of, the size of it. I think that the, the size that they print on is like 11 by 17. But like I said, anything with that... Uh, like 14 and a half by 7 inches, anything that will fit that size image on it should work just fine. Um, you know, it's all personal preference. If you want it, photo paper or uh, laminated, that's up to you. Um, I didn't, I thought it was uh, unnecessary, so that's why I didn't do it. Um, then there are people asking about where I got my template um, and how I got to it. Some people, uh, some people said about paint. And, uh, well, that's not where I got it. I got it from, um, uh, well, there's probably different locations for it, but, um, I'm sure if you go to Sure You Can, there's a bunch of threads about artwork, um, and you can probably just copy and, and put it in, like, a Photoshop document and then take it, uh, to a print shop and get it done there. Um, some other places that, um, uh, would have it would be a site called um, arcadeshock.com which I'm not sure if you can see it from here but uh, once you go to the browser be a browser up top and then you find the Quamba professional stick it's gonna be the second one down once you hit the, the Quamba thing and um, it'll bring you up to this page where it's got a, well actually, it will, the one right before it would be all the Quamba stuff, so it's got a, uh, the Quamba Q3, then it's got the plexiglass cover, and then the other Quamba Q4s that, um, the different color schemes that the, the, um, they put out, the blue and the red and the, uh, the, the black one. But once you get to the, uh, plexiglass thing, It'll look something like this, and um, right now they, I'm, when I'm filming this, unfortunately they don't have it up here, but they say there's going to be a link for a template for the artwork and an instructional video, which 
you might actually recognize the person on the instructional video. Um, but like I said, as of me filming this right now, it, the link's not up. But the place I actually got from was Focus Attack. And once you uh, focus .com. once you get there, pretty much the same thing. You're gonna look for the uh, the the Quamba art or the Quamba uh, artwork, plexiglass artwork. And you're gonna do some scrolling down, and you'll see some step by step. I know it's really hard to see. But it's a written step by step on how to change the artwork. And right under that, it says, Want to create custom artwork for the Quamba Q4RF? And then there's a bold and underlined text right underneath of it. For once you click that, it'll automatically uh, download the file to your computer. And it's already in a, a Photoshop document, a PSD. And then from there, again, you take Photoshop. Or I guess you could do other things, anything that open up a PSD file, and then you know do what you got to do, and then save that, and then take it to a print shop, and then have them print it up. I found that to be the easiest one, the easiest way to do it. Um, what else? Uh, also, when I when I saved onto a thumb drive, just to to make uh, sure, I saved it as a, a PSD. Uh, PFD and a and a, uh, uh, and a and a JPEG, just because um, you know I then want to get there and say oh we can't print it up. So I say the different files, and I was uh, pretty confident that they would be able to print up one of those. And I actually printed up to, uh, two of them just in case I messed up, but I end up uh, not messing up, so I end up having one and. And in the meantime, in the holiday hustle and bustle, I ended up losing it anyway. But I already had the first one on, so it didn't make a difference. So, um, and then someone asked me about what I cut it with, and I, and I ended up cutting it with this. And I think it's exactly this one. It's an exact good knife. It came with a kit. Brand new blade. Um, and like in the video, I, I took this as a template, and I just kind of um, just traced around it. Came out nice. That's why you want a nice sharp one. Um, and like I said, that was pretty much it about the the pretty much the paper I printed it on was the majority of what people are asking me. So I figured I uh, make a video response and uh, hopefully that answers the uh, questions and tanks and helicopters.